Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jimmy and welcome to my new video. So in this tutorial, what I'll be doing is going over how you can apply a nice glowing kind of warm feel to some of your images using Adobe Lightroom 4. Okay, so let's take a look at the photo that we'll be working with. Here is the before and here is the after. So as you can see, comparing the before and the after, it's just really brightened it up. It's added a nice warm feel to it, like I said. And it definitely isn't for every kind of photo. It's definitely not for every kind of portrait. However, for child photos like this, or engagement photos, or family photos, it can be really nice. And let's jump right into it. So we're going to hit the reset button and get started. Now one last thing quickly before we get into it, you might want to think about how you're actually going to capture the image. Now for me personally, and I know a lot of people do this, is what I did was have my cousin here sit with his back towards the sun, and that way you get this really nice rim light around him, you get this nice glowing in the hair, you get all those kind of particles here illuminated. And overall, it's just really nice lighting. Then from there, I didn't use any reflectors or flashes, but you can use a bit of fill flash. You can use a reflector to bounce a bit back into his face and get some nice catch lights within the eyes. So think about how you're going to capture the photo, and that's definitely going to improve the final look. Okay, so let's jump right into it. Since I know that I want to achieve that kind of warm feel to the photo, I'm going to go ahead and bring up my temperature slider. So to about 5300 is working well for me and then just add a tiny bit of magenta in the tint. Now these settings aren't going to work for every single type of photo so you might need to adjust yours accordingly. However, you know, use these kind of techniques that I'm applying to this and apply it to your own photos and you should be right. Okay, so moving down to our exposure slider, what I'm going to do is purposely overexpose this a little bit so about up to 0.7 is working well for this photo. Then we're going to add in a bit of contrast so about plus 30 to the contrast slider. Okay, so from there what I'm going to do is bring down our highlights to remove some of these highlights in his face and in the background here to about negative 30. Then we're going to bring down our shadows to about negative 25, our whites and our blacks to all about negative 25. So that's just going to even out the photo and as you can see the before and after, it's all starting to look fairly nice. Now moving down to clarity, with clarity you can just leave it as it is or you can add a plus or minus effect. So if we zoom in here just a sec, and bring down our clarity to a negative, you can see it's just really making everything glow a little bit more. It's creating a more of a softer look. However, if we bring it up to say plus 10, it's just going to enhance the details on his face. Um, so it's really up to you which way you want to take it, or as I said, you can just leave it with nothing. But for me personally, I'm going to drop it to about negative five. Then moving down to vibrance and saturation, I'm going to bring up our vibrance to about negative 20 and our saturation down to about negative 15. So zooming back out, you can see the before and after. We've almost got the final effect. So moving down to our split toning, I'm going to skip tone curve and hue saturation and luminance. And what I'm going to do is change our hue value in our highlights to about 65, our saturation to 15, our balance to negative 20, our hue value in our shadows to about 50, and our saturation to five. So what that's going to do is just apply a nice warm tone to the overall image, apply it to the highlights as well as the shadows, and those values there are pretty much universal and should work on any type of photo. Okay, so after you've done that, just take a closer look at your photo. Make sure that it's not affecting the skin tones too much like it is in my case, I think. And if it starts to look a bit too warm, you can go ahead and bring down your temperature slider back towards the blue side a little bit, and that's looking pretty good right there. So one last thing quickly before we finish up, if we zoom in on his teeth here, you can see with all of the warm adjustments and the split toning, there is a chance it can affect their teeth as well as the whites within their eyes. Now you want to make sure that you don't make it too warm, that their teeth are starting to look yellow and their eyes are starting to look yellow because obviously that's going to look ridiculous. Um, if you do get to the point where their teeth are starting to look a tiny bit yellow, Again, you can either bring back a bit more blue into the photo, or if you like the rest of the photo, you can grab an adjustment brush and bring down your saturation. And then just go ahead and say paint over his teeth a little bit here. And that way it's just going to take out some of the yellow within his teeth and make them look a bit more white. Okay, so that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something or found it useful. If you did, be sure to hit that like button to help my channel grow and help spread the video around. You can share it on Facebook or favorite it if you think anyone is going to benefit from it. And furthermore, if you'd like to see more of my photos, you can check out my DeviantArt. Or if you'd like to see all of my photos and stay updated whenever I upload a new tutorial or upload a new photo, you can like my Facebook page and that way you'll constantly see it a bit quicker there. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.